Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is John, or Last Monday Bricks, and welcome to episode 96 of this 100% playthrough of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Last time, we officially arrived here on Jakku and started collecting all the collectibles, so we'll continue doing that. But before we do that, I would like to remind you guys that episode 100 is only four episodes away now. So, make sure to let me know down in the comments what we should do for that episode. With that out of the way... Let's go check out, see, actually, before we do that, we have got a total of 97 uh, Kyber bricks to use to upgrade our characters. So, let's go ahead and do something like that. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and completely bump up the Jedi to 100%. I'm sure we got enough of uh, Kyber bricks to do that. So, we now have Mind Master, which affects the range of uh, Jedi's mind control. Then we have Trick Time, completely maxed. Increases the duration of Distract and Panic. And now we have the complete upgrade for Jedi Reflexes. Successful combat counters are more powerful and damage nearby enemies. And now let's go ahead and go with Force Flinger. Increases the de attack damage caused by ob objects thrown with the Force. Alright. Let's see, what else we got? Uh, looks like the, the smuggler is closest, so let's go ahead and bump ch up charge shot to its max. Hold hold uh, the ch hold the target button, then release when, when the weapon foam flashes to fire a charge shot. This powerful shot causes 20% more damage and bounces off surfaces. Then we have the combat slide. Now it is fully upgraded, and actually that's about it, because we're <laughs> down to one. All right, but hey, at least we got the Jedi completely upgraded. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's go get some more Kyber bricks. Let's see. Yeah, there's the next one. What have we got here? This is Uncar Plugged. There's no water coming to, ooh, to the village here from Nima. I know this is a desert planet, but we, we, we do have some modern infrastructure. Could you see if anything on... on to Anything untoward is happening to the uh, pumps down in Nima. We can certainly do that. I won't be surprised if that jerk Uncar is the one that plugged it up. Considering his gun saying he basically, as far as I know, he basically runs the place. Oh, so that's what that is. That way, pal. So that's what uh, that, that alarm was the so last time we played. But it seems we need an entry code to get in there. And unless, unless, uh, being all of Ankar's goons will get us in there. That way. Okay. Do we have a... What's the chances of us having a code that will get us in here? Well, that shut off the alarm. But how do we turn off the field? How do we turn off the energy field? Ah, ah, do we need to get up there? Let's see. I think we need to get up there. Now we are here. Let us begin. There we go. Let's see. Aha. 
How do we get in there? Looks like there's a switch in there. Oh, okay, so that's what that is. Let's see. Let's go ahead and switch back to... Switch back to... Hint droid. Let's see. There we go. Now we're playing as this droid, and we can pull the switch. There we go. Now, we should be able to... There we go. There we go, that took care of it. Alright, what's next? There we go. Next one we've got is portion control. I flew out here to bust into Ankar's storeroom, but it looks too heavily guarded. Plus, his goons are pretty loyal, so they ain't gonna listen to me. Alright, let's see. Where to for that one? Out of way. Oh, this is Ankar's place, huh? Not if I got anything to say about it. Let's see. Looks like we need... Oh, Jedi mind control here. Influence. Let's see. Is there like a way to? Ah, oh, there we go. I was gonna say, is there like any way to shut the power? There we go. Out of my way. Keep this up, Ankar won't have any goons left. Alright, let's see. I know we got Django set up, but let's see if we can't get a different bounty hunter. We got, we got plenty of them. Let's see. You know what? Let's go with Greek Karga. It's been a while since we played as him. Boom. Ah! What the? That's a lugger beast. What's that doing here? Uh, what just happened? Whew, for a second there, I thought we were gonna have to fight that thing. Well, I guess take all of Ankara's portions. <laughs> Oops. Did we just cause a, uh, a famine on Jakku? I think we might have just started a fa famine here. Not the best thing to happen when, you know, on a desert planet. Oh wait, was that even? Okay, I guess that's not one of Ankar's goons. Oh look, it's Ankar himself. What's he want? Some imbecile left my storeroom door open and allowed a hapobore to wander in and make off with the lot. Yeah, that might have been us. Spoiler alert. Even a hapobore would struggle to eat that many portions. So it's possible that if we find him, I can recover what's left. I'll pay you for your assistance, of course. Do better. Start by checking around the storehouse. The greedy Hapobor may have left some kind of trail to follow. Inform me as soon as you find it. Hmm. Sounds like we might have a Hapobor fight on our hands after all. Oof. Oof. That was probably him. Hey, seen a apple around here? Around. 
That'd probably be a hapabore. <sighs> Guess I could follow the trail to find the culprit, but I feel like I've burned a lot of energy with that indignant outburst. Talking and wore him out. Well, that's gotta be a first. When it comes to excuses. Hello. You follow in the trail of food too? Who could resist? Seems to end here though. Either the thing responsible vanished on this spot, or got much better at holding his food. Probably the latter. Well, oh, it's there. It is. Hey, big guy. Man, talk about ugly. Like ugly as a hut, ugly. I don't think he sounds too happy. Uh, you sure you want him back? <laughs> probably won't be the, uh, any worth, uh, probably won't be worth much anymore. That's not all of them. Where did you bury the rest? He didn't. He ate him. Why did he eat him? Alright, where, all right, where are you going? Oh, no you don't. Nobody harms that type of war until I get my portion back. Oh, great. Steel peckers. Ow. Hey. Back off. It'd be easier shooting these down with rapid fire double guns. Where'd he go? There he is. We good? I'm telling you, he's been eating them. Get away, you More incoming. Come on. Yeah. There. Come on. Come on. How many of these guys are there? Oh, okay, go. There we go. There's that one. Okay. How many more? So we got two more. Alright. Uh, it's just you now, pal. Trouble is, that makes it. Or more difficult. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? God, I've got the aim of a stormtrooper here. He did. I can see it happening. 
Don't you pests ever give up? That's what I want to know. You know, for saying I had the aim of Soldier Boy, I'm actually doing pretty good right now. Was that it? Another jig spot. Hopefully the last. Or so help me. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's get a shot of this uh, green bunch. There we go. I think I got a thumbnail for this video. <laughs> this may well be all we can hope to recover from him. Unless... Don't even think about it. He thunked it. Digested or too slobbery for resale, but all in all, this hasn't been a total disaster. I suppose some thanks are in order. I take it one quarter slightly slobbery portion will suffice as payment. You think wrong. How about I just buy you? Hey, well, you know, that's actually what happened. Let's go ahead and pick him up. Oh, wait, whoops, wrong list. Obviously under extras. Let's see, da -da 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 -da, where is he? There he is, Unkar Plut. The cantankerous Unkrolu Ut Unkar Plut is a junk dealer on the planet Jakku. From behind his concession stand, Unkar is known to play hardball with scavengers and has little sympathy for their struggles. Anyone who dares challenge him is paid in a rather unpleasant uh, visit by his cronies. Alright, with that, sh sh with those shenanigans taken care of, let's see what else we got around here. All right, what we got here? Kanji Cup cl Clash. Oh, uh. oh, oh! It's a si oh, it's a. I guess it's a an extension for the side missions. All right. Well, let's go ahead and go with this one. Down at the ATAT, that scavenger girl's house has an interesting setup outside. Pretty sure it's missing a capacitor or two, though. I can I can tell her. That I should tell her that there are loads of them lying around. So that's what those things are. I think we've been finding those things all over the place. So there actually was something to do at Ray's ATAT. -AT. I wasn't sure if we did. I know, like, I know we made a quick visit to it last video. I even used it as the thumbnail for the last video. But I wasn't sure if we'd actually have a mission involving it. There we are, home sweet home. Well, Ray's home sweet home. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, this is Ray's speeder. Where were... This is Ray's speeder. Nice. We got operational. Hey, nice. You fixed it. Nice work. Now, how about you give my race a try? Huh? Oh, is that that part of another mission? Oh. Well, we'll take it. No, we'll take care of AT. No, uh, raise AT, AT first. Then we'll see what. 
Uh, then we'll see what's, go what's going on. Let's see. Is this where we... Oop. Hey, where's the capacitor? Let's see. So what do I do? Oh, okay. Okay, so that's one. We need. Looks like we need two more. Let's see. Think I remember seeing one around here. Maybe. This is... Oh, right, I remember this place. This was where we did that obstacle course. Yeah, like I said, I remember finding them all over the place. We'd be wondering what those things were. Nice, at least nice... It's nice to know what they are... Uh, what, what they are now. Question is, oh, there's, there we go. There's one. And I might, and I think I remember seeing one at Nima's, at Nima Outpost as well. Is number two. Like I said, should be one over at Nima. Closer to Ankar sh shop, if I remember right. It was somewhere around here. There it is. There it is. All right. All right. That's the capacitor number three. Let's go ahead and take it back to the AT-80. Alright, there we go. Number three. Now we should be able to go in there and grab that Kyber Rick. Right? Yep, there we go. Oop, there we go. Don't think Ray would mind just getting rid of all this junk. Nice. Alright. Well, with that taken care of, let's see what this race is involving. Ray Speeder. Actually, before we do that, no reason not to switch to the right character. So, should be under Scavenger. There we go. I can handle myself. I'm sure you can. All right. So, nice. We got first. We got. Uh, we got gold, gold medal. We also got ourselves the first order of Tie Fighter. Nice. That'd be a nice reward. Ooh, 
pool of one. Oh, this thing takes a while to get moving. I just think we're doing pretty good so far. Wait, where are we going? Ah, that way. Ah. There we go. Oh. Whoa. Ooh. Now I got some speed going. We're really in those bumps. Okay, we're going that way. Okay, there we go. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. I got gold first try. I love it. All right. So, we should be able to get that TIE Fighter. Let's go with double check. Make sure. Yep, there it is. First order TIE Fighter. 35,000. Easy. The most common starfighter in the First Order's fleet, the TIE Fighter, is deliberately modeled on its Imperial counterpart. It may have retained the iconic look, but the technology on the inside was much more advanced. Powered by vertical PS6 twin ion engines and mounted with rear external thrusters rotated by 90 degrees, this new line of TIE Fighter is far superior to those from the Galactic Civil War. And as I understand it, uh, something that they don't mention is that unlike the Imperial Tie Fighters, this thing actually has shields. Alright, so I took care of that. Let's see what else we got around here. Alright. Got one more for just the basic ones. We got Star Destroyer Scramble. You look you look like you can handle a challenge. If you're on the deserts, head inside that old Star Destroyer. It's into where I train. If you can and reach the end, end of my stunt run, you can take uh, the prize that's there. Oh, I think I remember. I think I know what he's talking about. It's quite into the uh, the obstacle course inside there. I actually tried doing that while we were still doing the uh, doing the uh, the main uh, the main story mi mode, but uh, I was like. Oh man, this is way too complicated. We'll come back to that. So it looks like it's actually time to come back to that. Yep, that's the one. Now let's see if I let's see if I remember how to get this thing started. Up, up, and up. Oh, uh oh, there we go. Oh, pull the lever. Uh, I forget. Let's see. Okay, so two of them will move. There we go. I was going to say, two of those ones will move. The other two won't. Okay. Okay, so we got through that. Now what? I can't remember what to do next. I think it involves that... TIE Fighter, but I... Oh, okay, I see, I see. There we go. And 
then, if I remember right, we'll can, if we want, we can drop down to the TIE fi uh, the wrecked TIE fighter. And if we fall off, we can just turn the, the wreck of it into, like, a giant, uh, trampoline in order to get back up without having to do the rest of the stuff. Okay, so, the wands... Okay, so this is where it gets really tricky. Because there's a lot more of these... ...pads that actually turn off. Uh, if I remember it, the one I'm on won't move. <laughs> uh, uh-oh. Uh, s s s Now see that's what, now see that's the tricky part because they move because if they move they move fast. Uh, it certainly helps that. Ray is so athletic, so she does have to double jump to help her out. But if you can't get the timing right, you're gonna fall flat on your face. So don't be too surprised if I end up cutting out quite a bit of this part. I just cut straight to where we get to the Kyber Brick. Because this could take a while. Woo! Got it! We finally got it, guys! Oh, man! That is, without a doubt, one of the hardest Kyber Bricks to get in the game, bar none. So, yeah, I'm definitely be cutting out quite a bit of that gameplay. Just because I've took so doggone long. I probably took a good 15, 20 took me a good 15 20 minutes maybe even maybe more at least a dozen times trying to get it but we did get it so let's see what else we got well actually that covered the the puzzles if i remember right let me check oh right not not quite not quite we still got a candy club cash had to deal with but that's probably covered in the side missions Oh wow, that's oh wow, that's a whole list of stuff to take care of. Although being able to get Bosk is definitely a uh, definitely a worthwhile reward. But man, look at that list! Uh, complete bounty hunter hunt in Cor and the Coruscant Federal District. Complete Secret Archives two in Coruscant. Secret Archives Coruscant. Stolen knowledge in Coruscant. Oh man, that's a full list. Let's see what this other one is. This is the Jakku job. All right, and this will get us Balatik. You've seen him, Balatik, from the Guavian security soldiers. He's here in Nemo. Who knows why he's here playing? Certainly isn't a party. Well, let's go ahead and see what he. Let's see. Let's go ahead and see what he wants. There he is, all the way over here. 
What do you want, pal? Uh, a little birdie tells me them fellas from Kanji Club got their grubby mitts on some pretty fancy treasure. Be a crying shame if someone were to steal it out from under them. That's someone being you, I take it. They're pretty tight-lipped about where they're hiding the treasure. But I reckon they'd open up to one of their own. Or someone pretending to be, if you catch my drift. I dig. You want us to infiltrate the Guavians and steal the treasure from them? I can work for that. We'll get friendly with those guys and get us that treasure. Oh. Alright. Looks like we got ourselves a job. Alright, so where are these guys? Where'd they go? Let's see you. Anybody around here know some Guavians? Oh wait, no, Kanji Club. Guavians who are, are who we're working for. Sorry, I can't do this. Hold up. Um, hello. There we go. He looks like Kanji Club. Yeah. I stuck that marker in the desert, or like the boss asked. Wasn't easy making an X out of X wings, and he didn't even say it what it was for. But orders is orders. Ah, let's see. So we know what to look for. Question is, where do we look for it? Uh, let's see. There's a marker around here somewhere. See, there he is. Stroke a genius bearing all that de treasure out, out in the desert. Huh. No one will ever find it, ain't it there? Uh, how exactly were we supposed to find it? Hear it again? Boss mentioned that it was uh, since some marker, but the old noggin and uh, it, it had taken a few knocks since then. Alright, so now, okay, so I guess we got the information. I guess now, now we need to go back talk to Balatik. Buried it in the desert and marked it with an X of X wings, eh? Very clever. Eh, not exactly royal hidden or original, but eh, I'll call it clever. Right, lads, let's go dig up their treasure. <laughs> I love digging. So, do we join them or what? Uh. Yeah, it looks like we're joining them. So we're looking for an X made out of X wings. Too bad we can't get a bird's eye view of that. Well, there's Bala. This What's up? Like the place. Start digging, lads. Ah, I see what he means. Sneaky, very sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, now we're fighting them? Ah! Country Club's here! 
They're trying to steal our loot. Got him. Uh oh. Ah, looks like we're finding everybody. It's a free for all. No, but I'm getting you. I think that's all of them. Keep taking lads. I doubt it's all of them. We haven't uh, seen a uh, seen uh, Tasu Leech, the leader. For the digging or for the treasure? Well, rich. I feel so empty now. The digging has stopped. Nice work, lads. Can't wait to see the look on old Tasu Leech's face when he catches wind of us. He is gonna be livid! Uh, he's probably gonna be livid right now. I won't be surprised if he shows up right now. Of course, we couldn't have done it without your undercover work there, pal. Help yourself to one of these chests as payment, why don't you? Don't think we could open it anyway. Ah, uh, no Tasu? Huh? I guess not. Wait, do we already have Tasu Leech? I want to check that. Uh, we don't have him, but he's definitely on the list to collect. Anyway, let's switch to our happy Stormtrooper since he can actually open that thing. There we go. Hey, it's a copper brick. The Country Club Cash. Oh, is that what that last one was? Oh, I get it now. We had to do the job in order to even find the ki the the, uh, the Kyber Rick. Let me double check that. I think that's what it was. Yep, that's what it was. All right, but we also got us Politique, so let's go ahead and buy him. Let's see, he was one of those scoundrels, right? Yep, there he is. Balatik is a strong leader er, within the ruthless Guavian death gang. Like many, he had a less than favorable relationship with Han Solo and confronted him on his uh, freighter alongside Kanji Club. Han escaped, but not before Balatik and Shh er, er, the First Order were on the smuggler's tail. All right. All right, with that taken care of, I think I'll uh, do it for this video. Thanks for joining me for it. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, ring the bell to be notified of all videos as soon as they become available, check out my channel and the entire Skywalker Saga playthrough playlist on the end screen in just a few seconds. Make sure to let me know down in the comments what we should do for episode 100, and I'll see you all in the next video. Later, everybody!